So Steve and I have a 2020 um, GMC Sierra Denali in the shop here, and it's got the 6.2 in it. We're getting ready to do an oil change on it, and we're gonna show you what's involved with it. So we're just gonna take the oil cap off, and let it sit over here. So we got a 15 millimeter socket, and we're gonna crack this loose. And it's eight quarts in this thing, so we got a couple of Holy moly. drain pans here. And it's a lot of oil. Drain it without making a mess. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, you guys can do this in the driveway. We just kind of have it halfway up on a lift. Yeah, it's. We're gonna measure this truck. It's got to be over 20 feet long. Yeah. It's, but uh, what I like to do is I've got a set of ramps at my house, so I put the ramps down in the driveway and um, pull my my truck on it. It's pretty fast. It's pretty good doing it that way. And uh, just get yourself a creeper, and this is what you can do. Right, we're making sure our gasket's clean. We're going to put the plug back in. And then we're going to take the filter out. We'll tighten this up. Okay, and then we got our wrench for the oil filter wrench. Whether you got to drive one or your father had one, what the magic is, motherfucker. Almost kind of loose. All right, we're gonna let the filter drain down now for a minute. Let's do the filter here. So we put some oil on our filter gasket. We checked to make sure the other gasket came down, and it did. Housing's nice and clean. Yep. Let me slide this one up in place. Just want to make sure when you take the oil filter off, like Steve said, the old gasket isn't attached to the engine block because that'll create a leak. Yeah. Seen that happen a million times before. Yeah. Alright, so let's get our wrench in here. We're just gonna snug it up. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Clean the filter down. Make sure it looks nice and clean. Put your plug in, that's all yeah, set. The plug's all done, I got everything wiped down there. All right, let's go get the oil on it. All right, so it takes eight, we're gonna throw five in and then get the other three in. So what's this take for oil, zero W20? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. what it says on the cap too. The, the 3.5 doesn't, but the 6.2 does. Zero okay. W20. All right. <laughs> so we got our oil dipstick tube on this side over here. Wipe it down and see what we got. And we haven't started it yet, but I just want to see what the level is. Yeah, it's full, so we're going to start it. And as long as it stays within the check mark where the middle of my thumb is, we'll be good. So I got the oil cap. I'm going to slip that back on. And yeah, we're going to overlook everything belts, hoses, you know, all fluid levels like normal. Make sure everything looks good. That'll be it.